Hello, I'm Jamel Wright, proud president of Eureka College in Eureka, Illinois, and president of the ACI Board of Trustees. Given the innumerable and immense challenges our students, colleges, and state has faced and will undoubtedly continue to encounter, it's good to share positive news and find reasons to celebrate. We want to share with you the evidence that liberal arts colleges are a solution and one that is working. I'd like to welcome Dr. Phil Riken, president of Wheaton College in Wheaton, Illinois, who will discuss the myriad challenges our students and our institutions face. We have a, a solution that we wanna offer in today's presentations, but I'm here to talk about the problem that needs a solution, specifically the, the great number of residents and students that are leaving the state of Illinois for other places in the United States. Over the last decade, the state of Illinois has declined in population by nearly 300,000 people, which is one of the very highest drops anywhere in the United States. One aspect of this problem is the great number of college and university students that are going out of state for their higher education preparation. Uh, just to give one example, in, in 2018, we lost nearly 20,000 undergraduates to out-of-state schools. And again, we're in the unenviable position of having one of the highest rates for this um, anywhere um, in the nation. One of the reasons it's a real shame to see students go to other places is because we have such excellent colleges and universities in the state of Illinois. It's especially true of the Associated Colleges of Illinois. Our next presenter is Kanal Kapoor, CEO of Morningstar, who himself graduated from Monmouth College, one of our 26 amazing ACI member institutions. I, like others, um, you know, love uh, Chicago. I love the state of Illinois. We have so many fantastic things going for us. and. Obviously, the city continues to be a wonderful magnet, but I'm sure that you too have been thinking about what the future will hold. We've gone through such an unprecedented time with the pandemic in the past year. Of all the things, this was a great year to test out a liberal arts education. And what I mean by that is it was a fantastic time to show whether you had learning agility, critical thinking skills, the willingness to adapt and also the willingness to think about the future in entirely different ways. For the state to succeed, for our state to be as vibrant as we want it to be post-pandemic, it has to start with the education system because that becomes the vessel through which everyone else ultimately succeeds. Because even firms like Morningstar rely on that to ensure that as we grow, we have access to the right level of talent. Next you'll hear from one of my favorite presidents, Teresa Amat from Knox College in Galesburg, who will share ACI member institutions' secret sauce, what makes us distinct. Our institutions all emphasize experiential learning that is hands-on and project-based. And most important, we teach our students critical thinking skills, how to engage in rigorous questioning, how to find, analyze, and use evidence to communicate persuasively. And these are the skills needed for lifelong learning. Next, you'll hear from my great colleague, Troy Hammond, president of North Central College in Naperville, who will discuss some of those results by sharing key employment data. We pair our commitment to preparing graduates for the workforce with a support system for students that come from all backgrounds, including those from underserved communities. With a grant from the Council of Independent Colleges, we undertook an effort using publicly available information at sources like LinkedIn to identify how many of our ACI graduates were employed by more than 250 different Illinois companies. The data shows that about 24,000 employees at those companies had graduated from 26 ACI colleges and universities. And 148 Illinois companies employ at least 25 ACI alumni or more with healthcare, financial services, and insurance leading the top three. I've been waiting with great anticipation and excitement for our next presenters because one is Eureka College's very own Chloe Overstreet, who was selected as ACI's very first student corporate trustee and is currently Eureka College's student body vice president. After Chloe, 
you will hear from fellow ACI corporate trustee, Mark Vargas, himself an alumnus of Judson University, another of our fabulous ACI institutions. As a student who is approaching graduation from Eureka College, my liberal arts education and involvement in Associate Colleges of Illinois have prepared me for future internships, jobs, and graduate school remaining in the state of Illinois. The focus in the liberal arts curriculum on more than simply content but transferable skills has forced me to use critical thinking, communication, and analysis in every class I've taken here at Eureka. It is this focus on transferable skills that sets the liberal arts education apart from other schools. ACI takes the skills that students are learning in their classrooms and shows students how to apply those skills with other soft skills to be an employable candidate for a company. Through programs such as the Work Skills Boot Camp, students hear directly from employers on what skills they look for in entry level positions and how they can translate the knowledge learned in college into a successful career. Well, think about this United Airlines, Google, Northrop Grumman, Walgreens. Rush University Medical Center, Blue Cross Blue Shield. What do they have in common? They've all hired ACI colleges and university graduates. So here's my challenge to you. Think of ACI member schools and colleges when you're hiring. Here's another challenge for you. Participate in career fairs, help mentor students. I do that and it's fantastic hire students for micro internships. As our results show, your investment in the students at ACI member institutions is paying off. And I'm sure the return on investment is greater than you may have imagined. I'm Jamel Wright, proud president of Eureka College. I thank you again and look forward to your continued support.